Guys, it's going to be a busy night. <laughs> It is 6 15 p.m and tonight's episode of the hot mess express is brought to you by poor time management tonight's goal um if i'm even kidding myself is to get all of this stuff done mm, before falling asleep do I think that's going to happen? Um, I'd rather not get ahead of myself and let's just try and do as much as I can. So first things first, I need to get four more pairs of custom shoes ready for a women's conference that's coming up next week. So those orders need to go out ASAP. And I have a ton of sublimation uh, kids birthday shirts that I need to make after that um, which doesn't sound difficult but my sublimation printer is small so basically to make a big enough size of the design I have to split the image in half piece it together carefully and cross my fingers and hope that it actually looks good on the shirt and then so yeah um, it takes me a little bit longer than the average person, seeing as my brain suddenly draws blanks. And um, like I said, it's 6.15 and very likely I will blink and then it'll be nine o'clock, um, blink again and it'll be one in the morning and I'll still be working on the first set of tasks. So <laughs> let's see what we can do. So, as you all can see, my workspace is complete chaos at this point. Um, it's somewhat of an organized mess, and when I have time, if I ever catch up on orders, organization will be on the list. Um, for now, I just am in survival mode, and I need to get up to date and on time with all the orders, Etsy orders and local Facebook orders. And then I'll be able to maybe pull myself together a little bit. My girls are playing in the backyard, so I got to kind of keep a little side eye on them because um, they like to invite anybody who passes by to play with them in the yard. Um, we talk about stranger danger, but they get mad at me because they're very social. <laughs> so they're like, why do you think everybody's bad? And I'm like, because I've watched Criminal Minds. Yesterday's video was a bit of a fail. Uh, ran out of battery. Kids started acting a fool. And I did not get everything done that I needed to get done. But um, it's a new day. I am ready to finish things up. I did finish a few pairs of shoes yesterday. Just need to get those packed and shipped. Um, and then we'll move on to doing some sublimation shirts. Um, I'm in a better mindset. Had food. I have my water, took my meds, ready to get down to business. So let's go ahead and get everything done. I'm repping my Simply Sally sublimation shirt. Woohoo! Yes, don't be salty. Mm -mm. I love it. I love this one and my um, peachy. Oh, they're perfect designs. I love it. Um, so let's go ahead and. Um, I'm going to finish packing this up and I'll get back to you guys when I start with sublimation. Okay. Shoes have been shipped. Time to work on all these Etsy orders. Um, 
it's I kind of decided to try that whole system with the little clear folder things and you put your packing slip and all the shirt and the stuff that you're going to need for that order right up in the sleeve um, which is actually uh, working out kind of nicely aside from the fact that I'm way behind. Um, I took a few days off to focus on the kids um, and yeah this happened so now I gotta um, do the work because people pay you to do the work. The first order I gotta do is a monster truck birthday shirt so i've got my 40 uh shirt up in here ready to go and it's gonna be for a five-year-old so this shirt i just basically customize the um number for however old they're gonna be and it says ready to crush and then the number of whatever age they are and a little picture of the monster truck I'm gonna smash the number so Clever. I didn't think monster trucks were going to be so popular, but like as soon as I listed it, I started getting a lot of orders for the monster truck. So monster truck shirt is definitely um, not getting bills paid, but it's paying for all my kids fun activities like uh, zoo membership, soccer, all that good stuff. So I'm thankful for the monster truck shirt. Let's make it. All right, y'all. So I wasn't really planning on... Uh filming this part but if you want to know how I print something bigger than eight and a half by 14 on my um, my printer uh, my printer only prints eight and a half by 11 but I want this design to be bigger on the shirt so I'm gonna show y'all how I um, how I do that so I followed a tutorial online I'm in Inkscape right now um, which is like Illustrator, but free. <laughs> so basically I'm going to resize the actual image to how big I want it. Um, it says up at the top, there's a little toolbar up here um, to see what size it is. And I kind of, I locked it because I wanted to keep the perspective, but I do want it to be at least like nine or 9.25 wide. So I'm going to go ahead and do 9.25 inches wide. And that bumped up my image, but obviously it's not going to fit on my paper. So I'm going to split the image in half, print part of it on one sheet, part of it on the other, and then just put it together before I press it, basically. So the way I do that is um, to, I go to, what do I go to? See, I'm kind of just winging this as I go. One of these options, hold on, if I just, okay, where are you? object yes so if I click on the image and then I click on object up at the top it gives me the option down here to rotate so I'm gonna rotate 90 degrees so it's 90 degrees um, yeah cool so the way I split this is I make two boxes and then I clip it so I'm gonna just make a random rectangle here um, I'm going to change the size of this rectangle to eight and a half by 11. Okay, and that represents basically the print size. So um, da -da 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 -da. I'm able to change the opacity. So I'm going to lower the opacity so I can see through and see which part of the image I'm cutting up here. So at the very bottom down here, there's like a little down in this little corner over here somewhere. Um, there's an option to change how opaque you want to make that rectangle. Cool. All right, so let's put the camera up. Steady, steady. Okay, so um, let me turn off my fan. I always have my fan going because um, I'm always overheated. So this little rectangle here, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that to represent the two pages I'm going to split up my image on. And then I'm basically just going to put that over. I'm going to chop basically the words off on one sheet and the actual truck on the other. So I'm trying to line that up to right at that middle point there. Cool. And then this top part... Um, the software kind of snaps it together kind of nicely. 
So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the entire um, thing. So, well, mine doesn't work right. But you, anyways, you, you um, select both rectangles and the original image. And I duplicate it. Duplicate. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to grab the duplicate and move it. All right. So now I have two exact copies of the original image underneath and then this rectangle and this rectangle. So the top one, I'm going to delete one of these rectangles and on the bottom, I'm going to delete the other rectangle. And that's, that's cool. So basically I am going to select the original image on the top here and the transparent thing next to it. And then I go to object and then clip ah, and then set. And it has now chopped this image for me in that spot. So I'm going to just print that up on that sheet. And then I'm going to repeat the same steps for this bottom one. So I'm going to select the image, select the rectangle object, clip set. Boom. There we go. So I'm just going to leave this off to the side and I'm going to print this page with it centered. And when that's done, I'll move this guy out of the way and print that side. And then once it's printed, I just got to cut the paper and piece it together. And then um, I'll come back with you guys for that part. All right. So we printed it. I kind of cut it as best as I could. Um, so once I had it kind of lined up the way I want it, I taped the sides flipped it over and did a nice long strip of tape all across that line. And so the last thing that I'm going to do to this um, before we actually press it onto the shirt is actually rip a lot of the extra off. Um, and ripping it actually helps to avoid a really harsh um, line. Like usually if you would just press like a piece of paper on a shirt, you'd be able to notice like the sharp corner of where the paper was. Um, but when you rip it, it kind of like... Um, it kind of like fades out basically instead of creating a really harsh line. So um, I'm going to do that.
two, three days later, realizing I never filmed like an ending to any of that. Um, so yeah, I didn't finish all the stuff I needed to finish. <sighs> I'm not getting the sleep I'm supposed to be getting. But we just trucking along, you know? Um, my Etsy shop is brand new, started in January. And I'm thankful to be getting orders at all at this point. So um, I just need to learn to manage my time better and um, get a lot more coffee in. And that's all we can do at this point. I'm not even gonna, like I'm not even pushing Mother's Day hard this year because I know that's a huge market. That's like the time that most people spend during the year. I just need to get get it together. You know, I need to be able to have a system that works um, before I can start pursuing Mother's Day and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I keep tripping up, you know, my local orders and my Etsy orders and life and homeschool and, you know, being an active member of my church and society. <laughs> it's hard to do all the things. Um, but I gotta figure it out, you know? I decided to get married and have a family and start a business, and now I gotta, you know, put my big girl panties on and get it done somehow, so we, we gonna do it. Thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, this, this was a video, and I did things, and you saw, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I apologize, I'm a very terribly awkward person. <sighs> My bad, y'all, it's like one in the morning. And that's not even bad. Like, it's, sometimes it's like three in the morning. I don't know, this is, this is the part where they always say to like and subscribe, but you know what, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I don't know your life. I don't know if you got the time to be watching my stuff. So you do whatever you wanna do, and um, I'll be here doing what I wanna do. And um, that is all.